So we have a kit here that's going to help you build a propeller car. Um, first step, what you want to do is you want to take this body, this wood body, and either side could be the top or bottom. I just drilled holes straight through it. So we're going to take and we're going to look at the body. We're trying to find the, the four holes that are the most even on the very corners. And when I say even, that horizontally, they'd be the most lined up. We're going to find out we might troubleshoot a little bit later on. But uh, I think I like this side the best. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use this side right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and take these eye screws, and so they have the little, little circles on them, and we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna screw them in. We can do this by hand. Go ahead and screw them in. Until you don't see the threads, and the threads are the little, the, the areas around the screw, and you wanna leave that, you wanna leave that eye hook so that it is horizontal with the long part of the body. And we're going to do that to all four of these. So we get the four corners. Get that guy started. And then it keeps on going. So the pre-drilled holes help. If not, you'd have to align all this yourself. We're going to want to stop it about the same. So I have that horizontal, that horizontal. And they're stopped about the same height, so one's not higher than the other. It looks like this one is, so I'm gonna keep it going. There we go. And do the other four. You wanna once again make sure that they're the same exact height where they hit the ground where they when you stop that they're horizontal the last one's right here okay so we're just about done with this now we're ready to go ahead and move on to the next step and so the next step what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to make an axle. We have our wheel, we have our axle rod. We're going to go ahead and put that on. We'll push it a little bit more later on, but just for now we're just going to set the axle into the wheel. And we're going to take the car and we're going to put it, put the wheels into the little axle holders, the eye hooks that we put in earlier. And now we have that, and I'm going to take the top part and that's why I'm going to do a little extra pushing to, to make sure that the wheels are are in, that they're, they're pushed onto the axle rod. So here I'm going to do another one, and you'll see, you'll, you'll see you give. When you push it a little bit, you can tell that it's there. And so now you have a car that should roll freely, but we're going to do more than that with this car. We're going to go ahead and add some parts to it. So the first part I am going to add will be the switch. And what you'll notice with the switch is it has these two sides on it with like little triangle openings. Well, I'm going to use that. I'm going to take these nails um, called brads. We're going to take brad, both brads, and we're going to go ahead and just kind of get the, the nails in there started. And we're going to put them into, you'll see on the cart, you'll see this side, one side's going to have two center holes, whereas the other side just has one. Well, the two center holes are going to be where you want to go ahead and put these brads into and you want to make sure also that this we want the switch to be on the front of the car so we're going to go ahead and i'm going to start off just by pushing these a little bit by hand and then i might use my desk after i get so far I use my desk to kind of finish it off so i went ahead and i pushed that switch is now in place kind of held in place like that next thing i want to do is i want to set up my battery place placer and I'm gonna put a screw in the center hole of the battery, the, the battery holder. And I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take that screw and I'm gonna screw it into the center hole. So what we're doing is we're looking at the center hole right here and we're gonna go ahead and screw it in the center hole, but we want the wires to be facing the switch. So we're gonna go ahead and screw that in. Put the wires facing the switch. And we're just going to finish off the, before we attach anything, we're going to just go ahead and we're going to 
finish off a little bit of the rest of it, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this white part right here. This is gonna hold your motor. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna screw that into the, the last hole in the back. So this is the one side that has a single central hole. We're gonna go ahead and put it in there. Get that nice and tight. And we're gonna make sure that this is kind of horizontal with that one short side that's closest to. So there we have it right there. And now we're ready to go ahead and put this motor together. We're going to take that propeller, we're going to throw it on the back of the motor. We're going to have a motor so that uh, and you can kind of lift these up a little bit if you want. You'll see you might need to later on. But the little, we call them electrodes, the areas where where the um, wires will attach to. They have little circles on these and also you'll see those electrodes on the on the switch. When you get to the switch, you see the electrodes have little circles on, on them. And so we're gonna go ahead and take that motor and we're just gonna, if you put it sideways into, I'll just get a wheelie, uh, put it sideways into the battery clip and then turn it, you end up, end up seeing this. So you'll see the, the electrodes of the, the, the motor here. We'll see the electrodes of the switch here and now we want to go ahead and we want to make a closed circuit of course not going to be closed until you have the batteries in there but for now we're going to make a closed circuit and what we're going to do here is the way i have this set up i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take this wire right here i'm going to try to twirl it so i can get it as uh, so i can thread it through the the switch and what i want to do is i want to thread it through this side of the switch so it faces outwards I don't want to face inwards because it's going to be important that we don't have wires touching other wires and I'm not going to have anything else on that side. So I'm just going to face it that way and I'm going to kind of bend it so it's sitting there on that side right there, just like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have, actually, you know, I'm going to switch it, switch sides. I don't lie to you. I'm going to go ahead and bend it so it's, so it's on this side. So it's on the, the right side of the switch. So I'm going to set it out through, let me get this restarted. Okay, I'm going to thread it through this side of the switch. I'm going to need the other side for another wire, the last wire that we'll do. Okay, there we go. Almost. Okay, and this time we are on this side and we're gonna go ahead and bend it away. Okay, so we don't want, when we get the wire there, we don't want the wire facing towards the inward inside. We want it facing towards the outside so it doesn't interact with the other wire. When we get to the end, we're gonna put a wire down this side and we're gonna have it facing the other direction. So now we did that part. We are going to, I can move my, I can just leave that kind of, it's not really too much in the way. I would take this other wire and the colors don't really matter. They do if you were you know, following a certain strategy but for this case, they're just wires. We're gonna take this red, the other lead, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it into the motor. So we're gonna go ahead and take it to the electrode of the motor that's on this side, the same side it's coming from, and we're just gonna go ahead and put it in there. And we're gonna also bend it. It's important that you have the wire touching the electrode and not the insulation. So make sure I just bent it so that the, I don't know if you can see it, but so that the, the wire is coming from the inside going outwards. And then you'd see the metal is, the metal is touching um, the electrode. So we have this part and we have one last wire. We're almost done with this. We have one last wire and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to just do the same thing. We want a wire going from this electrode on the motor to this electrode on the switch. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go from the inside out and make these ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and go from the inside out. We're gonna go into the electrode and I'm gonna bend it beforehand. I'm gonna go ahead and just get that thing bent and I'm just gonna kind of hook it on. So 
we hook it onto that side right there. And we're gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna probably do that last. I'm gonna go to switch first. I'm gonna go to switch and I'm gonna put the wire through the, the electrode from the inside out. I'm gonna make sure that there's no wires on one electrode touching wires on the other electrode or else you'll have a short circuit and the switch won't work, it'll be always on. And we're gonna go ahead and attach this to the motor. And right now, the only thing I'm missing is batteries. Ellie, can you get me some batteries? Yes, Get me two batteries, you can grab it from another car. Thank you. So the key here is right here where you have the, right here is the switch. You want to make sure that there's no wires t t touching both electrodes or touching another wire that's touching another electrode because that will make the switch useless. And let's see how successful I was at putting this together. This is where it might be useful to have longer wire on the end. I try to make the kits with a little bit longer wire. Um, this will temporarily work. I would just adjust it, make it a little bit better. If I take the take the batteries out here and I put the batteries into my new car, if it goes right off the bat, that means I have a short circuit, which maybe not doesn't. It means that it might be on. So now I have the car that I can turn on, and when I turn it on, it goes. Now. Some of you might get to this point and wonder, okay, well, why is it not moving? Well, if it's not blowing out the back, what you're gonna have to do instead of that is you're gonna have to take these two wires right here, these two wires. And if you go ahead and take those two wires and switch them, it will switch the direction that the propeller is rotating. So if your car is not moving or going in the wrong direction, just make sure you switch these two, um, two wires. Once again, the colors don't matter. If I followed everything to a T, uh, the colors probably would matter, but for the sake of this, uh, the color of wires don't matter. You get to that point and you have a little car that you can turn on and let it go.